Hello, friends. Ciao, amici. Ciao, amici. Hey, Venner. Hey, Venner. Every time I do one of those sign-ons, someone tells me that I've said it wrong. But that's because I'm using Google Translate. So if you want to submit hello friends to me in different languages the correct way, feel free to because I'm trying. I'm really trying. I really like that sign on and I like to give shout outs to those of you who watch my videos and English is your second language because that's amazing and that's serious dedication. That means so much to me and I'm so appreciative of it. All of you are better than me because you can speak more than one language. Today's topic is a question that I've been asked a lot, I'm sure a lot of you have been asked it too, and maybe you've even asked yourself this. And that is, will I dress this way when I'm older? Or will you dress this way when you're older? Now I'm going to be talking about it in terms of Lolita because that's what I wear and that's what I know, but this advice can be used for any fashion, literally any style. It's important to remember that fashion has no expiration date. There's no set time when it says, okay, now you're 24, you have to stop dressing this way. Now you're 58, you have to stop enjoying this thing. And on the other end of the spectrum too, there's no start date either. You can be a little baby person, you can be watching this and maybe you're like three months old, and you're like, ugh, 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 I wanna wear Lolita, or maybe you're 63 and you just are discovering this and you want to dress that way, that's fine. You are more than welcome to. You can start at any age and stop at any age. Or you can wear this fashion forever if you want to. Hideki Kobayashi is a great inspiration. He is an older gentleman who wears schoolgirl uniforms because he wants to be a cute schoolgirl. He started wearing this fashion in his 50s and people tell him all the time that he's a creepy old man and other people love his fashion. So he doesn't let others stop him from doing what he wants to do. He doesn't let his age stop him from doing what he wants to do for looking the way he wants to look. I also have some friends that their mothers got into Lolita after they had, and they dress with them too. You never have to change your style. You can stay the same way forever if you want. But if you want to change your style, that's fine too. Sometimes you get tired of a fashion and you want to explore something else and that's perfectly fine. But the most important thing is that you decide that for yourself. When people ask me personally if I'll wear Lolita when I'm older, I can't give you an answer. I don't know. I don't know who I will be 10 years from now. I don't know what I will be interested in. I've gone through so many different fashions in the past, some of which I'm glad I don't wear anymore, <laughs> that I don't know if I will still have the same interest. If I want to wear Lolita still, I will. I'd like to think that I'll be 85 years old and still wearing Lolita, looking at new Angelic Pretty releases. Did you see the new AP chocolate release? It's got holographic chocolate on it. Let's go teleport to Japan, get in line. I hope I live to see the day when teleportation is a reality and Angelic Pretty releases holographic prints. So the next time someone asks you, will you still dress like this when you're old? Tell them, there's no way of knowing. But you have the freedom to choose whether you will or not. You don't have to ever stop. And whether you do or whether you don't is completely up to you. If you feel so inclined to ask somebody this too, if you ask someone, will you dress like this when you're old, and you expect a real serious answer, you should ask them what the winning lottery ticket numbers will be too, because they must know the future. Until next time everyone, stay lovely, or don't! Who knows, next week I might be brutal lore. Probably still be lovely.